the last game we saw with some of those execution errors. Oof, we'll have to see if they're going to be able to sharpen up here as we hop in now. It's game number three of your grand final. Secret going against Fiji Gaming. Let's hand it over to our casters. It's LD and Gods. Thank you very much, Dakota. Gods, we are live here at the SunTech Convention Center in Singapore, one of the biggest Dota 2 events ever and the biggest in Southeast Asia. This is exciting. A lot of money on the line. Over 4,000 people have come down. Thank you all for coming out. It's been a blast already. And game three now begins. Tied up one to one in the best of five. And the drafts have taken a big turn. We saw a lot of just like a bit of a groove being found for both teams as far as their first meeting in the winner bracket finals and now in the grand finals. But game three here. Anti-Mage, Death Prophet, Wraith King, Slarks, these are picks we just have not seen from either team really at all this tournament. An unusual smoke move by Vici, it's gonna get broken, Puppy, oh, FY, he finds the long range grab, they do have a pounce available, it's a connection, and with the chili touch, this will be your first blood. Vici Gaming, a very unusual angle, almost always gods nowadays, we either see like that one hero TP run up the ramp, one hero TP bottom and run into the jungle, or five heroes down bottom. You don't see that five hero rotation up mid very often. No, not at all, and completely catches Secret by surprise. I imagine that was where Vici had done some homework. Oh, Anti-Mage secures Bounty Rune against Ice Ice Ice, and just seeing kind of Secret's level one movements and kind of predict like a path where they can find an early level one smoke gank such as that. Pi's actually being dusted here in the dire jungle, could be in some trouble. They, they do not have a chilling touch, and the dust about for One or two seconds here, we'll leave them on a first stun. No, Pi. But another sentry. They're going for it. One more auto attack. That's all they need. Oh, the pass! He's gonna live. He's gonna live. Dust and five. They're gonna YOLO this dust, possibly. Let's see. Let's see if they can find him. They're close. Be waiting on the crowd noise to Hold figure it out. Ah, oh, there you go, they found him! I lie, die, will die. My goodness, a 2-0 start for Vici. As far as the bounty runes go, they did get one for the mid-death prophet. Okay, gods, so you've had a few moments here to compose yourself after the death prophet pick. Well, Why death prophet? Uh-oh. Well, I'm up it is. Super hot mid. Power shot not available, but they've got the wind run. They're gonna run him down with auto attacks, perhaps salving up. Really committing for this turns with the nuke. Pi will slip away. And we oh, barely. My goodness. Good one now. Okay. It's okay. All right. Are we done now, guys? I hope one not, LD. It. I, very much for the five, man. This is a game where Vici Gaming, they're on the dire side for the first time this series and will be looking to control Roche take objectives much more than they have in past games around the Death Prophet bet. Very much a vulnerable laning stage, which Vici Gaming somewhat made up for initially with those early kills, but since respawning, Pi is just going to continue to camp this mid lane. They're setting up again mid on Super. Doesn't have the detection right now. We does have the level 1 Shackle, but... Wants to get him low first, and then look for the Shackle. From full HP, they won't kill him unless he pushes up really deep. Two hero rotation is scouted out now as FY pokes his head out. There's that sentry for Super. Okay, now he's got a pack, so he'll have a little bit of protection against the bounty. Super's in so much trouble. He's not getting a bottle anytime soon in this mid lane. Has three CS against We has nine uh, CS. Fenrir also may be in trouble as Pi is gonna bait out the chilling touch. Well, bounty that... Hunter already doing work. Yeah, sure, they got the kill on him, guys, but they've been oh, forced yeah. to drop three sentries. They popped two dust to get that kill. The, those two kills that Vici got definitely helped him out a little bit, give him a bit of a gold boost, but still very much like, okay for Secret. They can deal with this, they've already, they've already got the pressure coming the way of the Death Prophet and Super's not getting anything out of this lane. They may actually go down again oh, here. Oh, the pressure mounts, he does have the new cooling down, Shackle's gonna be there. Highlight die, one auto attack and a new, oh, just gets it, Super! Close call, but he's gonna die, Weeha! Comes out oh. on top again, getting another kill on the enemy mid. And no rotation in sight. Now FY will strut into the lane, but really, what can he do on his own? Yeah. It's an auto attack here and there. Your 13 and 5 wind range, your Death Prophet not only dying, but also not farming. Bottle already up. Boots are available. The Death Prophet experiment is quickly becoming a disaster here. 
Beachy gaming. Yeah, they can always look to catch up around the Exorcism, which did receive a lot of buffs at the early level. So level one Exorcism, a lot better at bringing down towers, and that's going to be kind of the the comeback as far as death profit is concerned. Looking at the big picture, Ice 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 is getting a decent amount of XP out of this off lane already level three. Uh, the safe lane for burning, a free farm lane, much like the anti mages lane though, and. We'll have to see what Vici can do once they hit their eye. Level 2 Scorched Earth burning. Say hello to the Bounty Hunter, does have the pounce. And they are looking to dive this, are they fully committing? There's nothing else aside from the Orb of Venom, so one more auto attack. Where's the backup? Burning got a salve oh, up. Misery. So oh, misery. Oh, sure right now. Oh, they got the dust as well. Pi's going to go down Good as well. Turn it. All right, Misery goes down. The backup has arrived. Vici Gaming looking for Pi as well. They will find the counter kill. Well, mid lane, Super starting to get harassed. The level 3 power shot now online. Now down towards the bottom rune. Ice 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 wanting to fight Puppy, but... Unfortunately, Battery Assault not too useful against Solutions. Tries to nuke him. FY's here. We Wehi's committed to win run to go in! This might actually be an opportunity for a kill. They have the follow-up damage. Blasted away! The Wii Ranger slowed down. This is they a 5-0 Ancient Apparition. Fenrir has gone from playing, like... 10 position support last game. He was supporting for a greedy four call lineup and played amazing well. In this game, he starts off with five kills. So, how the tides have turned for this player. And, well, not really the ideal hero to be getting all these kills since he's most likely going to be dying at some point as that five position support. But, by the way, the important thing for Vici is they're getting the kills, they're doing well here in the early game, and now they've kind of salvaged the poor start that the Death Prophet initially had. Yeah, it was about a thousand gold lead at one point. Very fast for Secret. And they are planting down additional sentries, hoping to find the bounty hunter and punish him on his rotation towards the mid lane. Ice 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 continue to post up on him. Only a level 1 glimpse now. Puppy choosing to save that third skill point. We'll pop out the cogs, try to mess up some of these poles. And Pi is going to look to punish. Ice Ice Ice. Now on the run, rotating they in as well. It's going to be Weeha. Shackle level 1 available. That's Ooh. not going to connect. Still, they look to chase. They've got the level 3 power shot. Not quite enough damage. Yeah, but they are pulling Beachy Gaming strings, forcing them to react a bit. That is free up burning though, gods. Now level six. Yeah, that was actually just fine. That's ice, ice, ice in a nutshell. There, create space. Drew in four secret heroes. They were even. They even brought the AM off the lane, missing a couple of CS because he thought they could get the kill. Puppy didn't get the glimpse. Weha didn't get the shackle, and just classic ice, ice, ice. And that is. Good news for Beachy Gaming. Super now gets the space he needs. Level 6, and uh, won't level up the ultimate just yet, but we'll see that, I imagine, sometime in the next couple of levels. The stacking commences now for Beachy Gaming, as they've managed to secure two double stacks in their woods. Death Prophet used to be really pop. Oh, the dust. Pylai die. he wanted the rune. Well, you got it now, Pi, but comes at the price. Down your rune grab, but the turn is there. Good news for Secret, they'll also grab a haste turn, and this one on Weeha Gods. I guess Vici will be happy it's only a level 1 shackle, because we've all seen what the Wii Ranger can do with even the most modest of beginnings. The big thing is here is for people not to like kind of confuse this big kill lead Vici have for an early game lead. They're committing a lot of resources to get these kills. The sentries and dust they have to keep on buying is a big toll on their economy. And, and Envy's free farming. Yeah, Envy's free farming. All three of the secret cores are getting a good amount of farm. Doom is getting way more farm than the Clockwork is, so... Looking... It's actually secret who are ahead on overall net worth right now. Not like a, a measurement necessarily to be taken too... Looked at too closely, considering we're seven minutes in. And there's plenty of stacks for Vici Gaming that they can fall back to farm, but... Very much not a Vici Gaming lead. They're dealing with a Bounty Hunter and preventing his early game from being effective, but it's not really coming at a huge advantage to their own lineup. Still that Death Prophet mid, super. The struggle continues a bit. The stacks may help him get back in the game. I think the Bounty Hunter has really seen just yet, but Pi might be able to scout it out soon. The sentry is waiting for him. The ambush is set. Will he fall prey to it? Pi I die, playing it nice and safe here. He does see the supports. I think he may have even seen them run up and drop the sentry. He was carefully monitoring their inventories. Things are coming out back and forth from both teams. Oh, it looks like Ice Ice Ice. Okay. Over to the mid lane now. Good Death Prophet off to the jungle. Yes. And this means Envy totally free lane. Yeah, they can... Well, free lane regardless. If Clock's down there, it's still a free lane as well. Death Prophet actually TP in one here who can contest this lane a bit better, but there's a glimpse. Oh, glimpse. They don't want to glimpse him back. They want to not kill him. Not doing it. They want to go for the kill here. Super was not expecting this. And Envy blasts him oh, off the map with a quick Omni Slash. Or oh, not Omni Slash. Uh, Mono Void. Excuse me. That's, that's really costly. That... Uh, he's got the stacks now. Death Prophet, she was just begun farming these. Whoa. Weeha has the level 4 power shot. 
One already right, creeps it down, out, looking but... for more. He's not only is the death prophet gonna die, she's gonna lose almost all of her farm. The pains are coming out, but I think it's already too late. Oh, almost, almost all the disaster. almost all the creeps here. Aside from a couple of the no big ones, shot. they need the stun. They don't have a hook shot yet. They gotta get Weeha trapped in the cogs. Battery assaults are going. Shackle the jukes. He just squirms away. Ah, uh, if you can get him in the cogs there, it was just too difficult. With Ice 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 just being a little bit too far away, and well, he didn't get the two big dark trolls. That's somewhat good news for Super. Yep. You seen early still, I mean, it going. requires four heroes to go there, gods. All the while, yeah. anti-mage farming. Pylai dies. Been given a ton of experience. Top that trap backfired entirely for Vici. Really coming back into this one. We see Envy actually rotate into the jungle now, giving Doom the safe lane. So very much a game of wealth distribution right now for Secret. Willing to give anti a slightly slower blink dagger, as long as it means they're getting more farm across the board on heroes that kind of need some of these item timings. Misery getting a fast drums, for example, can just allow him to fight, and then he returns the favor by creating space for Eternal Envy later on by having these early game items. The Wind Ranger having a quite a good time mid Weeha, despite that death, sitting up there in the top two. This feels somewhat reminiscent of the secret matches in the winner bracket finals, where. Every game, it was Weeha and Envy on top of the net worth chart pretty much the entire game after the early laning stage. And it feels very much Vici Gaming, they're almost too reliant on Clockwork hitting level 6 this game to kind of give them any momentum. Until that point, they're very limited in what they can do. Moving towards Weeha. Oh, Back up. Pai got very close to that sentry, must have stayed just out of range. I thought he ran past it, but maybe it was just back. Ice 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 finally leeches his level 6. We'll move back to the high ground. I imagine it's it's smoke time for Ice Ice Ice, possibly FY as well. Do you want to play the game of farm here, though, if you're up against Seeker Gods? They have Devour, Midas, now on the Doom, Track Gold, and an Anti-Major Windranger, two of the better turbo farming cores. You can't just go for your like a farm battle. You've got to mix in smoke ganks, finding pickoffs, using the clockwork hookshot. I don't feel Vici Gaming have like a, a timer on their lineup to take take all the towers, push like push and just end the game before it gets to the late game, but they can't just mindlessly farm and expect to, to win a late game battle. AM will hit a good battle fury timing, you've got good late game on the side of Secret, and Vici will very much look for timing windows around the exorcism. So take a tower here or there, go for pickoffs, and also control the Roshan, which is something they can very much There's do. There's the hook, the jump on oh, it, it's on an illusion! Thanks. Oh, ice, ice, ice! That's not a great way to start off the clockwork show. Weeha just sits back and relaxes mid. Normally it's Ice 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 doing the baiting with the illusions, but not this game. I mean, for now, they've got a Midas Slark kind of competing for farm with a well, jungling slash laning anti-mage who's actually out farming him right now and will continue to do so with the Battle Fury pickup when that comes online. And Envy's looking at a very fast Battle Fury here. As Pylai die again moves in, he loves to do this on the Bounty Hunter. I believe he got slammed down though. those Deep Observer Wards. Level 6 already. He's got Track Gods. Mm. Very fast here. Oh, Kuria. Okay, over the trees. We'll be kept safe. That's the Void Stone for Super as well, but... Oh, we talked about Death Prophet as a pushing hero. And it will be Weeha. Fast blasting oh. down the mid tower. Now Burning late. even forced to TP and He's too late. He's gonna miss on the pounce. Well, Dark packed and back off. Now FY a bit late to the party, and then the power shot. That one won't miss. Now they've got oh, the they track going up. on to FY. He's not yet level 6. He's got to be careful about his initiation burning. Almost caught out. Oh. Puppy committing the static storm here. They will back away. Pi also retreating, but now the track vision. Making life a lot trickier. Ice Ice Ice. They are going to get the D ward here. I knew the bounty was in the woods, but still. Very reactive play from Vici. Yeah, and both teams just slightly misfiring. First the Slark TP. It's really hard for Vici to, unless the Clockwork initiates, they're not really guaranteed to find kills with their safe lane farmer TPing in, which is a big investment for Vici Gaming at this stage when they are being out farmed. And then similarly, Disruptor slightly misfires with the Glimpse Kinetic Field Static Storm combo onto the Slark, which may have led to a kill if they'd been able to properly lock him down. But either way, Secret come out on top. They're out farming Vici Gaming. They take the T1 mid tower without it getting denied. and continue to look to apply pressure here. Moving towards Ice 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 now, Pylai Dai continues his deep roam through the enemy jungle. Deep burning. Seems like he wants to fight gods, but he's not all that farmed at this point. I don't think Vici, they've got two Midas's. Like, right now they're already down a significant margin as far as farm goes, and going for a double Midas, that's 4,000 gold worth of this farm that doesn't really contribute much to a team fight. 
They'll find pickoffs, but any full-on 5v5 fight will not be favorable to them. Yeah, you're versing an anti-mate who a lot of his farmers and items that don't help him fight until he's got like a Vlad plus Manta style, but level 2 mana void alone can offer a lot. Death Prophet, you, you have to chew through that mana pool a lot to get out your Crypt Swarms as well as the Exorcism, and that's just going to lead to potential cleanup for Eternal Envy in a fight. Well, going back to what you said earlier, we often look at Death Prophet the way... Oh, smoke down the mid lane here, secret. Looking for the jump, it's a short glimpse back, but Super still good. Oh, just skirts away! And now pops the ultimate, secret, they want to disengage. They have baited out the open, f is here. So look to turn it, Ice Blast coming through, connects up Misery. Oh. And then Ice is oh! Static Storm by Puppy saving the day there. Almost got the two arrow cog grab. It said Weeha gonna back off, but Puppy will get run down, the sacrificial play. Saving the Wii Ranger, though, definitely seems like it was worth it in the end for the Disruptor. Yeah. But also worth it for Vici. You got two kills, save Super, and now move down mid. Just getting the great initiation there. Secret again, misfying a little bit when they went in with the glimpse onto Super. If they're going to be the ones jumping in and going in first, they've got to make sure they latch on and get the kill and prevent Super in that situation from getting off the Exorcism or any spells, unless he's going to die instantly, so... Secret give a little bit back to Vici Gaming. Gonna be a TP top now for Misery. This stuff is on Midas online, so like you said, it's been very much a game of farm for both teams. Of course, Envy, the one truly winning that battle for now. To 8 a net worth nearly. Generally, we have seen the, the Vlad's Manta build as kind of the standard anti-mage build gods. Any reason to deviate from that here? Nope. Alright, so then... After that, we'll see if he wants to fight or if he wants to play the rat game. As FY, mad that Poppy's dewarding him. Nope. It'll take out his frustration on the Sentry Ward. Yeah, and that's, I mean, for now, Vici Gaming are basically saying, well, we can't stop, but they can't do anything about the anti free farm, so looking to make the best of their side of the map with the double Midas. FY is going to do his typical greedy FY things where he tries to position himself such that he can be a core hero, and Fenrir, as usual, kind of suffering as a result, but. How often do you see a 6-0 hero have the lowest net worth at 15 minutes in? 1,600 net worth when he's 6-0. and He got all those kills really early, and that's literally all he's gotten ever since. Yeah. 9 CS. Mm, ice 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 at the bottom. He does have dust here, but that's because the Wii Ranger is nearby. That's why Ice 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 doesn't want to fight. Gonna get shackled. Power Shot connects as well. He runs in. He's committing on the Wii. Huh? Silent. Pushed back by the Cogs. Urn is there. Yules, that's gonna set up for round two. And round two is death for Weeha. Secret just they're spread so thin and they're kind of getting slightly baited here by Vici Gaming. It's very much like Vici Gaming, much weaker in an overall fighting sense, they're out farm, but every time these little clashes break out, Vici Gaming bring in three, four heroes, and Secret only have a couple. They're just overestimating like how far ahead they are and trying to use these bounty hunters to kind of force the issue too much on the side of Team Secret. But to some extent, it really is space created, though, as continue to see Eternal Envy just racking up the creep score. 170 CS, the next closest, a Slark with 100. 70 up gods. Yeah, it's going to be a hard game to deal with an Antimage. And looking at the side of each game, and you kind of always, like, you give Antimage free from, have you got the lamp to deal with him? They haven't got the best damage to lock him down. When they, they want to come in Exorcism, maybe you can kill him off. But once he has Manta, he can get out of the Death Prophet Silence. Blink Wraith King stun can be disjointed as well by Manta style. You can see Envy's just, Ooh. he's not afraid. He's yep. farming mid under their tier two. And he knows there's almost nothing that they can really do about it. Maybe if they get that Hulk into like a silence from Super, then they'd have a chance. But you see Super bottom and the kill potential simply isn't there. Oh, puppy. Looks like he's maybe worried about Vici Gaming diving him. So he'll try to <laughs> stall things down, clear out the wave. Deep pushing and get the hell out. Storm. Yeah. <laughs> Not a, not a way you'd normally see Stalling tactics and then escape tactics, but yeah. they're going to keep on going. Showing some good understanding of how th where things stand right now, that they aren't going to defend that bottom tier 1, and 80 second cooldown, it will be back up before another fight breaks out. Uh, normally he's the split pusher, but this time it's Turtle Envy going in. They are going to hook now. They have the silence available to cog back into the silence. Now they get the Crypt Swarm going. Yeah. Exorcism, not battle. enough. Chasing instead onto Weeha. Can't get the kill either. This mobility from Secret Gods, it really seems to be too much for Vici here in the mid game. Yeah, and they've got mobility. Vici Gaming have not the best catch. It's, uh, Clockwork alone, he needs follow up to get any of these kills. He's not a solo killer. And until you see a Wraith King with decent damage items and a Blink Dagger, we're not going to see pickoffs come their way. Nah, that's my haste turn, says Puppy. <laughs> Just toy with Super now. Well, how do they deal with this, Gods? 
They're getting outmaneuvered. Mm. The Death Prophet ults yet to take big objectives. They go for the late game. They hope for Eternal Envy to create some art, as they say, perhaps later on. Because they don't have an anti-mage counter. They can keep on farming. Death Prophet does scale very well with items. Uh, same for the Slark, but it's always going to be a matter of you go, you try and group up, do what your lineup's meant to do around the Death Prophet, which is kind of five-man, take Roche, take Towers, but Envy's always going to be split-pushing, and you haven't got the lineup to catch and punish that split-push. So very much a waiting game for VG Gaming, where they'll wait out the mistakes and wait oh, for opportunities to come big. to them. They want Burning, they're going to start with the Static Storm. They then Doom him, track him as well. This is a big old pile of gold, and they're going to get it for four heroes. Ice Ice Ice, he knows they need to get something in as the reply, but he gets shackled! Ice Ice Ice, unable to get the Hulk off there, mid animation, gets pushed back. Just look for the staggered retreat rocket cooling down. Dire team, gonna continue pursuit, but it's dangerous. Yep. And little do they know, there's actually an Agonims now on the Wind Ranger as Envy takes full advantage of this. Pushing him bottom, just pulling VG Gaming apart, FY will TP in, but he's got no backup here. Has not even skilled up the ultimate yet, and it looks like even if he does, he's still going down. Again, the grab, he will back to top lane, we're super. Shackle coming through, not gonna connect, they get off the Ice Blast on the Wii Ranger, can they finish him off though? Not able to do so, Ice 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 getting glimpsed back out of the picture after the Hoko is committed. Weeha runs away, everywhere Vici move, they're just getting outnumbered, out damaged, completely outplayed. This game's starting to look very grim for Vici Gaming, they've got to make something happen and something happen soon. Playing a farming game with the Midas's while they're getting out farmed, out split pushed, and even the team fight's not working at all for Vici right now. Tracked money as well. Just look at net worth. This is feeling like an alchemist game. And that's a hero who's not getting tracked gold. He's not coming to the fights. Now imagine if he does. No need to for Secret for now. And V5 the enemy. Ancients just. Not only is he doing a good job of, with his own movement, guys, but they've got great wards for him. So he knows generally where. It's safe to go, Vici Gaming, showing quite a few heroes on the map. So he blinks back in bottom, pretty much has the Manta style now, just to afford it. There's just too many threats on the map right now. It's the AM who can split push. It's the secret team fight with, with, with the Disruptor and the Wind Ranger Shackles. It's the pickoff potential of the Doom and Bounty Hunter. And on top of that, there's like all these crazy X-Factor things, like an AM who can even sneak his way into the Roshan Pit. There's too many things you've got to be concerned about. Well, that Vici long glass Vici gonna find the bounty hunter, but yep. this is fool's gold. The and least important hero as far as deaths go. It's very much that Vici gaming can only be ever really solving one or maybe two of these problems at any given time. Uh, misery on the dive, he's chasing after Ice Ice Ice. He knows quite a few heroes were mid. Doesn't look like that Doom will be quite enough damage, though so he will drop this. Be forced all the way back to base, and well, he will survive, but he's also out of the picture. That means... Your big team fight specialist not available to help the mid lane where Super's been glimpsed into a static storm. Ice Blast coming in, will connect on two, but they need more backup, they don't have it. Super's down, Fenrir going for the TP out, but Avoid says no again. Envy slamming the door on the Ancient Apparition once more. And the comeback the for this is showing here oh. down the stretch. It just doesn't feel like there is the comeback potential there. The Death Prophet has just been a non-factor. The farming slark has got a Shadow Blade, but very much an item which you can't fight into Team Secret with, and if he ever gets shackled or caught in a static storm or doomed, he's likely dead. 7 to 11, that is like the most misleading yep. kill score I've ever seen. <laughs> My god, they are far behind. I mean, this is just Pilot in a nutshell. One of those players who probably has one of the worst KDAs in like competitive Dota for any player, but it just doesn't tell the whole story. What he gets done for his team. Very much like this visionary tactic, like giving his team like the scouting information they need, creating space just by tanking the ganks for the rest of his teammates. And well, we've seen on past teams, we're seeing it here with Team Secret. The space he's creating, just giving Secret a massive game three lead. Yeah, we saw it in the Rubik game as well. Had those five early deaths, didn't seem to phase him in the slightest. Is burning, gonna move in. Ice Blast, quite off the mark. There's a Doom available soon, but Burning, thinking about going in anyway, he's going to commit onto Puppy Rocket's going to come through, needs to hit that mount actually. Might not even matter, he gets Doomed, chased on the way out, needs to get to the fog here, the hook comes through from Ice Ice Ice, trying to slow down Misery, and well, it will save Clark from potential Doom, but... Hmm, so... Misery able to walk away. Once the Doom gets an Aghanim Scepter, this game gets a whole lot harder for the Slark. Looks like Shivers will be picked up first, but... Do imagine Ags at some stage will be uh, picked up just to counter the Slark. It just feels like it's always space created for Secret. If a hero dies, three other heroes farm. 
Or you get a track kill. Or you take a tower. Like, there's always some trade, and it's usually a favorable one for them. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, Secret are far enough ahead in terms of golden items that they probably could just 5v5 fight and not lose the team fight. But it's much safer and more effective to play the style that they're doing right now, which is just split the map, go for like the, the pick off trades, but know that they are out farming their opponents heavily. Bernie, he's found the hero he wants. He pounces on the puppy, will blow him up. This could be an opening for Vici. It's, they search forward, the, road and, uh, the rest get away. And what do you know? Again, space created. Yep. One of the... Story of this game. The better trades Vici have got, a tier 1 and a pick off, but... Uh, for, for Secret, they just know they're far enough ahead. Getting an A just means Envy can just split push without fear. Speaking of Envy, he's looking to cut off the backliners. Oh, misery. misery will get surrounded by three, but Envy's also going to be here. Has the Mono Void available, looking for the opening. Dark, death, dark Pack coming out from Bernie as he tries to turn this one around the Shadow Dance. Not quite enough, they do get rid of the Aegis, but can they fight through round two is the real question here. Envy's coming back, and Envy is mad. Bernie retreating out. Follow-up is going to be here from Weeha. Might be able to get that Shackle off, just needs a bit of vision. There's the Mana Void, and one more auto-attack should do him in. Track Gold into Secret's oh, pocket. They hunt for more, FY. Blinking out, but Envy about to blink forward. Has the Manta style. Will FY be able to get up the ultimate? There's the, the oh, stun dodge. dodge. No, he actually canceled okay. the stun. Still going to go down. It didn't have the Mana in the end. Didn't get off the ultimate. No reincarnation. Another takedown. Another track kill for Secret. Team Secret just now. They did go. lose the Aegis, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. That's what the Ace is for. When you a team fight at this stage, and MB now 4K gold. Another big item will be coming soon. Does get poked around by Burning, but not much Burning can do to fight into this AM. Oh, he's out of mana. This is trouble. Mana Void. Currently not available on cooldown for 20 seconds. Ice 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 hooking in though. Is he getting out of here? There's a glimpse when he tries to run. Static Storm drop. Not going to connect on anyone, but that's okay. Focus Fire will kill off Ice Ice Ice. Zoning back the other heroes. Now Fenrir are getting glimpsed and devoured quite literally. Another track kill for Secret. Rampaging through Vici Gaming here in game number three. Yeah, it just feels like options are running, running out for Vici Gaming. You're not going to turn around the game against an Antimage with this much farm. If MB wants, he can just play it ultra safe, pick up something like a Heart of Tarrasque, and he's never dying, but he doesn't even need to go for the safe option. That's when you know you're in a fantastic position for Team Secret. And it's not just about Envy right now. Weeha, with his solo kill potentials, picked up Crystallis, so there's more right-click DPS coming out. Misery with the Shivers is doing huge damage when he gets the Doom off on a key target as well, and the VG Gaming, the Death Prophet experiment, doesn't seem to be working. How much of it is the Death Prophet versus, like, the lack of help that he got? Because he didn't have sentries when the lane started. The supports were occupied top lane. Do you, do you pin it more on the hero, or do you think it's more about just the lack of support and the early pressure Seeker put on it? I think it's a lot of it's the hero. It's I'm very surprising to see it picked into a bounty hunter, one of the heroes best at pressuring the mid lane. And you, you picking Death Prophet is just very risky there. Yeah, they could have gone for a safer option, a Super Dragonite, maybe a TA, and well, Super Shackled all over the place. Literally the million mile Shackle. He's still dead. I like that will be the trade, but again, okay. you're trading a core for support, and you're not done yet. Envy, who's he want? Team for burn, it. or Ice 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 rather is going to find him. We'll find the kill. Got a relic. It's, I guess he's just going to pick up the abyssal uh, blade now for some insane kill potential. Are you sure about that? Well, I I've, talked about Eternal Envy art. This I've, could I've be seen his anti major rapier. The Mona before. Lisa of Eternal Envy games right now. If he picks up a rapier and loses it, but yeah, Sha well, Shao would really be calling him an artist then. <laughs> Testing over on the. Well, he could Chinese pick up a rapier game. and I don't see him dying. Is the crazy thing. 3,000 gold right now. He could definitely go for it if he wants to. Misery getting caught out. Chainsaw oh, blasted off. down. They do also manage to get the super ultimate off, but the shackle shot doing a lot of work. What's what doing? Dropping low. He's got the ultimate. He'd love to be able to get it off for once this fight, but no, super's down. And Envy's jumping in. He's also going to finish off the Wraith King ultimate. Forcing FY back. Shackle. For once it won't connect. But then oh, it clips it back. You're not going anywhere, FY. Sliced up. Spit out. Vici Gaming. Get blocked. <laughs> And although this might be Vici Gaming's home turf to some extent, Secret getting a lot of love from the crowd here as they move ahead to a 2-1 advantage, guys. Yeah, we see the first kind of breakthrough as far as the overall strategies and drafts go. Two neck-and-neck -neck games that could have gone either way, followed up by finally Secret kind of fitting in an anti-mage pick that Vici Gaming were not ready.